Have you found a moonstone? I have, in fact. I used one to evolve the, the big beast that I might kick your ass with. Oh, I bet his next Pokemon's a Nidorino, so we're going to throw out Nidoking King and we'll give him a Thrashing. I mean, I'm not actually going to use Thrash because that's stupid. Although, I guess I could. Yep, it's a Nidorino. Here's my Nidoking. King. I mean, yeah, and so no one can use it against him, which is like, okay, cool, I get it, but again, why tear it in half? If you have it and it's yours, it's in your possession, nobody can use it against you anyways. And let's face it, nobody was going to be stealing shit from Kaiba. I literally just have Thrash as a filler move. Well, no, 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 no. I mean, yeah, but it, technically he he took it. I don't remember if it was made clear or not. Did he take it from Solomon or did he win it from him in that duel? If he won it from him then it's like, well, tough shit, you, you shouldn't have bet it, you know, you didn't have to duel him kind of thing. Now, if he challenged Solomon and then beat him and then, like, took it from him and was like, ha-ha, now it's mine, if he just ripped it up like a bully, then sure, I guess, but... It's kind of funny because they want. It's like they establish. It's like they did that to make you just instantly be invested in not liking Kaiba. Almost like they wanted to villainize Kaiba so that when you get to the part where he's trying to rescue Mokuba, then you sympathize with him. I guess. But it's like, oh, hey, damn. He's a villain. Oh, and then right after that, there's Pegasus. Oh, he's a villain. He stole he stole your grandpa's soul, not just a card. And then, oh, shit, there's Weevil. He threw your Exodia shit off the freaking cruise ship into the ocean. Damn, he's also a villain. Like, <laughs> they just wanted you to hate everybody that wasn't part of Yugi's gang. See, but even then, that's, like, so vague. What, like, wasn't given a choice? Did they kidnap him? Like, you, you can't just... I mean, they abducted an old man? I... It, it's kind of like a... I don't want to say it's a plot hole. Because it's technically... I guess it wouldn't qualify as a plot hole. But it's it's kind of... It's just so vague, it's up to speculation. But, I mean, hey, at least it wasn't fucking Season Zero. Which didn't... Didn't give a shit about cards. Yeah, Season Zero was... I'm trying to think of how to describe Season Zero. I mean, I know you already know what it is, but I'm trying to think of the word to use what I'm thinking. Like, none of the episodes mattered. I was going to say kind of like South Park. But that's not really what I'm going for. There's another show that I'm thinking of. It's it's in a similar vein where it's like every episode's kind of its own standalone thing that they don't really, you know, connect well. Uh, but I can't think of what I can't think of what I'm thinking.
Season Zero was really... I mean, I could do a whole video on... Why Season Zero was such a... Hey, that was a perfect switch into. Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I could. I mean, granted, Season Zero was its its own really weird-ass thing anyways. But Season Zero makes absolutely no sense. Even being a part of Yu-Gi-Oh! Even a part of the story. Like... The Spirit of the Money and Puzzle is not a Tim. In any fucking way. It's almost like... I mean, the Spirit of the Money and Puzzle in Season Zero is basically Yami Bakura, but not Bakura. So, are you basically saying that store that season zero was retconned into into uh, season one, into the Duelist Kingdom season? If so, then okay, I can kind of see how that's how it's different, like how it doesn't apply as much. Uh, Meowth. Okay, well in that case, then it's a little... See, my... Was Season Zero in the... Was Season Zero part of the manga, or was it just... Because what I can't understand is why was Season Zero even allowed to be a part of the same universe? Or, or was it that they made Season Zero and then they went, okay, well I want to keep going with I want to keep going with this, this whole Yu-Gi-Oh thing, but we kind of fucked it up at the beginning. Let's just start over. We're going to pretend Season Zero never happened, and we're going to pretend that we're Disney and we just brought out Star Wars. Because <laughs> that's... That's the only way that, that that could possibly even make sense. It's like, well, we made it, it's a thing, it exists, but we are not considering it uh, canon. <laughs> it's not part of the rest of Yu-Gi-Oh! that I'm writing. Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon specifically are one of those are, are one of those things that the manga and the anime are two completely separate entities. Sort of, in a way. So with Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't think so. I think the manga and the anime are the same when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh dual monsters. But then like when you get to like, GX, you've got the anime for GX, and then you've got the manga, and the manga is completely different 
Zayn doesn't really do much of anything. He becomes the Hell Kaiser, and you know nothing about it. He doesn't use Cyber Darks. Jesse's a fucking bug trainer. Like, it's so fucking weird, and I don't know why, like, I don't know why they're so different. I don't know why the anime and the manga are completely different storylines. And it's one thing that's always confused the shit out of me. And I tried reading the GX manga. But I, I just, I couldn't get into it. It just was too, f especially after having watched the anime. Like, I just, I just couldn't do it. Like, the reason I like GX more than Duel Monsters is because is mainly for the characters and for the archetypes. Heroes, Crystal Bees, Cyber Dragon, Cyber Darks, uh, the Red Eyes archetype. We I mean, had so many cool archetypes and cool characters in GX. The story was a whole different kind of thing. Yeah, Duel Monsters had the better story, but let's face it, everybody's deck in Duel Monsters sucked. Nobody had a theme to their deck whatsoever. Besides, like, ooh, I like these cards. And that's, the, to me, that's why GX was just better. Plus, I actually like Jaden better than Yugi. Sorry. And then with Pokemon, yeah, exactly. With Pokemon, it was like, oh, we got the anime. Here's Ash and whatever. And then you're like, here's Red. But unlike Red in the games, this Red talks, and he talks a lot. And also, he doesn't start with a Pikachu. He's got a Bulbasaur and a, a Poliwhirl, and... Oh, wait, it's implied he's dead. Now there's this girl, Yellow, that's got a Pikachu. Is that Red's Pikachu? What the fuck's going on here? Half the gym leaders are with Team Rocket? I'm confused. Eric is a princess, and she's helping against Team Rocket? What the actual... Like... <laughs> It's so fucking weird, especially when the legendaries get involved. Man, it's been a long time since I've read the manga. I probably need to go back and read it. I mean, it's it's definitely something. But the difference between Pokemon having a complete, completely different manga from the anime is it was still interesting. It was still good. Whereas, again, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX is just like, I couldn't get into that shit. God, I remember, too, like, was it Giovanni? I think it was Giovanni had, there was a scene where, like, one of his Pokemon froze, like, two, it froze two Magmars? And then smashed them to pieces, and it's like, Oh, no, like, yeah, they legitimately were broken into fragments. They're fucking dead. There's no amount of fucking potions and Pokemon centers that are gonna heal them. They're, they're done. <laughs> like, the manga took Pokemon and made it into something very, very much more mature than Ash and his little shit went. They had different writers. Are you talking about the manga for Pokemon or the manga for GX? Because both things make sense and then also don't make sense. So, like, it makes sense that the... Yeah, since it's just not gonna just pop up in the on your face and on TV. Yeah, I mean that makes sense, I guess. Whereas you actually have to pick up a manga and read it, and I mean, granted, depending on where you're at, it's not really that difficult. But I, yeah, I mean, I can see how that makes sense. But see, if they had, because really. Most anime, to my knowledge, and I'm not, I'm not super centric on it, and so Pokemon had different writers, okay. 
But see, the thing is, it's like, where did the... Where does the anime come from? And especially in... in so that that kind of like makes it even more convoluted because so you've got Pokemon which you had the anime then you've got the games which are two different stories different main characters all that shit and then the manga which there's different mangas between Pokemon Adventures and po there's so many different variations of Pokemon manga and none of them connect it's all different characters, it's all different stories, which is, is cool in a way because it's different stuff, different stories, different characters. It's not just a rehash of the same thing over and over again. But to my knowledge, an anime series is based on a manga series. And that's why manga or that's why anime like Bleach and Naruto have so much filler because the anime caught up to the manga, and they had to wait for more of the manga to be released, and then they could do, they could animate it. So... That being the case, where the hell did the GX and the Pokemon anime come from if the manga was completely different? It's, I don't, I might do a deep dive into this one day. Probably very soon, because I hate not knowing things. Correction. I hate not knowing things... Correction? Clarification. I hate not knowing things I give a shit about. If I don't care, I don't care to know. Yeah. I mean, it could be a thing, too. It's like you're, you walk in a bookstore, and it's like, Oh, hey, look at that. It could be something they have on display. It just came out. It's a new edition. But yeah, I mean, the, the point still stands. It's easier for a kid to see something on TV. I honestly don't even know how manga is still... I mean, I guess because it it's originates in Japan. It originates in Japanese. I guess that's why. Because they're way more cultured than we are over in the West. But kids these days don't fucking read. Manga sales aren't sh are doing shit over here. But in Japan, I'm sure they're still doing great because, well, they're a little more cultured and sophisticated. Their kids probably are like, yo, look at this new manga, look at this new book, where kids over in America are just like, ugh, reading. Where's my cell phone? Where's my... My iPad. No, there's not really much type advantage going on here. I mean, I could have just kept using Raichu, but I, I want to get everything leveled. This was this is how I always played too. It's like, oh, one leveled up. Now let's go, move on to the next one. And see, I mean, that makes sense. It makes sense to not, to, you know, the the manga being popular and not changing shit. Even though some things still do change a little bit from one to the other. I just, see, but even even going by that logic, I still, I mean... You can't say, even though some people are like, oh, Jaden was just blah, blah, blah. Some people, some people really hate on GX. I don't really hear people hate on the original Pokemon. Because, I mean, out of all the seasons we've had of Pokemon, the original shit from Gen 1 and 2 is with Ash, Brock, and Misty. That, that was everybody's top tier. But I'm just trying to figure out I'm like I just I'm trying to understand in my head where where things went. I 
Well, right, and that's what I said was was worked for Pokemon is all the stories were different characters and different storylines, so it worked out. But in the case of like Yu-Gi-Oh, especially with GX, is the manga to Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Monsters followed the same characters and storyline as the anime did. And I believe it was that way with 5Ds as well, which I watched... I don't think I watched 5Ds all the way through. I watched the first season for sure. Maybe the second season? But I've watched all of GX, even the... Even season four that they never... They never dubbed. I wish they would have. But... It's just GX. That is different. Pokemon I can let slide, because... Again, it's all different characters and stories. I guess I'm just more fascinated with what happened with GX. Because even though people hate it on GX... or Correction. Even though people hate on GX now... I never really heard people hating on GX back when it was released. And, I mean, nobody hated on the new archetypes we got. Heroes, Cybers, those were beloved. I mean, everybody was playing hero shits. So we had the Ancient Gear stuff. We had some cool-ass archetypes that came out in the beginning of the GX era. So nobody was shitting on GX. The only thing I could think of is they had to... They still had to make... They were still making cards. So they still wanted to capitalize on that and keep it relevant. So here's... Here's some anime that is, you know, gonna... We're gonna capitalize on all these cool archetypes. And the main characters, they all have these cool archetypes, so you'll want to buy the packs. I suppose that's possible, but it did, did the manga, I'm wondering now then, did the manga for GX come out first? And they're like, yeah, we're not really fond of the way the story's going, so we're gonna take its likeness, take its characters, and we're gonna make a new story for it for the anime that uh, we think will resonate better with people and help card sales better. <laughs> God, Rock Slide's sound is just weird. The animation's fine, but the sound is just fucking weird. Got a crit, though. Rock Slide's supposed to flinch. <laughs> Not crit. I mean, granted, I'll, I'll take it. Though I don't think it was necessary. Nitto King grew to level 30. <sighs> See, and talking about Yu Gi Oh! like this just makes me. makes me miss nostalgic. It makes me. It makes me miss it. But, Yu Gi Oh! hurt me in a way that, uh. unforgivable.